What's up guys, Rob Butcher here with Unashamed Gaming. Today I'm going to be bringing you some Skyrim gameplay. Uh, well, I do Sanctified Saturday. Enos was generous enough to, let me pause this while I explain what I'm doing, generous enough to uh, cover me for Thursday because I wasn't able to, and, um, and I'm getting Saturday for him. So this is going to be a Sanctified Saturday after I give a little bit of introduction on something I've been doing or something I am doing here. Um, so first off, getting into it. Uh, I am playing Skyrim. I'm not. It's not a playthrough. It's just the game I'm playing. And this screen up here, you can see the quest I'm doing. I'm doing the uh, College of Winterhold um, playthrough quest stuff, and uh, I'm at this step in it. So uh, I'm finding the books that were stolen by some dude, um, and you can read it there in the in the thing just pause the video but anyway i found the books i got to take them back to this other guy who i told him i would take it to um but i'm going to start this thing i think and if you guys like it let me know and i'll try and do it as often as possible i'm just going to call it thoughts from skyrim where basically i'm going to play skyrim and i'm going to just talk about whatever's on my mind um a couple reasons for this a i've got to get two videos tonight because i'm leaving for the weekend um, and Call of Duty is just so not fun to play anymore by myself, um, pubbing by myself, so I don't, I'm not going to do it much. I mean, you'll still see some videos from me, some Call of Duty, of course, but, um, any opportunity I get to play other games is when I'm going to, what I'm going to do. So, that's why I'm playing Skyrim now, and this is one of the things that I'm going to, um, the local Nords this guy, shut like up, I could think. Much. One of the things I'm going to be um, playing, but thoughts from Skyrim, where I just kind of talk about whatever, you know, whatever comes to mind. Um, but today, oh, also, if you haven't played Skyrim and you would like to know a little bit of backstory or anything, you don't know anything about it, I would A, recommend leaving a comment, asking questions, anything, I'll answer all of them. B, watch some playthroughs. I'm not going to do a whole playthrough of the whole game for reasons I've stated before, but, um... Definitely watch some if, if you like what you see here. Um, I don't want to see you treating any of these books. And well, anyway, well, today is... You seem to be in one piece. Let me let this guy talk, and then I'll get Thank into you. what I want to talk about. I'll look these over and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Unfortunately, well, talking takes a while. that interesting? Did you read it yourself? No, I didn't If I recall it. it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. What'd I get? Ra racial f something? Oh, the books I can read and, uh, and mm -hmm. gain stuff. Okay, anyway, um, Today is Saturday, and you know something we do on this channel called Sanctified Saturday. Uh, we haven't done it every week. It's just something we do every once in a while. Um, where basically I think the college is we is this where this was before? Basically, we just talk about whatever we're thankful for, whatever God has put on our heart for that day. Um, in my case, I am going to be talking about. What I'm thankful for, well, that, just that exactly. What I'm thankful for and what God has put on my heart today. Um, for me, the last nine months of my life has been kind of, uh, not hectic, but stressful. Uh, a lot of different things going on um, in my life towards various ends. And some things did not turn out as I wanted them to, or as I thought they would, um, you know, I felt like God was leading me in a direction, and I still feel like he is in my life that I chased after and did not get, uh, in the way that I expected to, and that just goes to show, <laughs> that just goes to show, um, that things aren't always gonna be what you see, what you expect especially not with God when you're when you want something from God or you are oh I think I dropped that book something that men hang on let me pick it up when you want something from God um, or you 
feel like God leading you to do something. I would suggest praying for it earnestly, you know, every day that you can, um, well, which is, you know, it should be every day, and strive towards it. Don't give up, even when it doesn't seem to work out. Now, if there's a difference between something not working out and God shutting something down, which takes practice, and sometimes, you know, you don't even, you can't even tell the difference, um, but generally, if God wants it to work out, it will. Well, all the time. If God wants something to work out, then it will. Um, I'm sure you've so, I'm not going to listen to what this dude's saying. So, I'm thankful for the path that God has taken me on, which is not ideal. It is not what I wanted to be uh, the path that he took me on. But it is one that the further I walk down it, the more comfortable I feel on it, if that makes any sense. Um, which is, is always the case with God. Whenever something is... Whenever something is more um, not what I want it to be or whatever, but I follow along with it anyway, it always ends up for the better. It always turns out to be... Me? It always turns out to be what I want. Um, or not what I want, but what I need the most. So, let that, I guess, be encouraging to you going forward. If you feel like, you know, things just aren't working out, or you feel like God isn't trying to, isn't playing a role in your life, be reassured that he is always playing an active role, and that whatever it is that he wants you to uh, to do will will happen um, and it is what is best for you more um, it's hard to I'd like think to know why he's this guy at the same time but so we're going to go have a little chat with him okay we'll go exactly have a chat what it is he wants probably sanctified Saturdays are not the best time to play Skyrim but I kind of had to do this for the video today um, but anyway, let, let that be encouraging that God is always playing a role and he does want what's best for you. And when it happens, it, it is the best, the best option for you. Um, so I hope that is encouraging. I hope that is uh, something that is... I think the college is due for a change. That helps you out, I guess, in, in your walk and in your journey. Um, and that's just what's been on my mind. I'm thankful for where I am. Like I said, every every step I take feels closer and closer to what God now, wants, um, even though it's not necessarily what I want or not the way I want things to happen. And then but be removed in the end, we will grounds. all see that God's way is the best way. Um, so that being said, guys, that's my thoughts for Sanctified Saturday. Leave your thoughts down below. We love to hear them. Um, I'm sorry this gameplay wasn't the best for this. The main point of the video was me talking. But Monday is, is going to be continuation from right, right here, different thought process. I'll probably make the video a little bit longer, and um, it'll, be, it'll be more of a thought process, flowing process. I'll probably pause for the dialogue in the game and stuff like that um, and, and have, a, have a little bit longer video with a little bit more thought process in it. But this is a video for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. God bless. We'll see you next time.